also I'm reminded, like, any chance that one of those um, harassing stalkers has how old I am. Um, I just like to say, yeah, had a little bit of a rough life at one point, have a fabulous life now. Um, I came a long way, earned every wrinkle on my face, have um, osteo, beginning stages, osteopenia actually, beginning stages of osteoporosis. So every bone in my body is a little brittle, but that, thanks for pointing that out because, you know, I hate dentists. Anyway, um, but some of my classmates don't hate. Some of them aged really well. In fact, they are absolutely gorgeous, just like, you know, it was 20, 30 years ago. Do you think I hate them? No. No, not at all. I mean, I'm like, get it, girl. Why should I hate somebody? I mean, sure, I'd like to be younger. Well, who wouldn't? <laughs> but hating somebody and hating on somebody is not going to get me there. That's for damn sure. And it's pretty, pretty mean to always pick out people's little flaws. If they have a zit or whatever. Because, um, you know, as a woman, and if you're not my age group, you will be. Number one. Number two, every woman, when they start aging, at some point feels a little insecure. Because, you know, society tells us, or men, or whatever, our brains, that, you know, we're no longer desirable. Not that that's true, but that's kind of the, the implication. Anyway, why would you hate on somebody that has talent, is pretty, is funny? So that's not, maybe not your thing. Maybe, maybe not. If it's not, instead of hating, go search. Go, go find out. Find you and find out what is your um, standout um, gift. But stop hating. And then turning around and going, now oh, you picked on somebody's looks. Typically, nobody that I know that has had to fight back towards this relentless crap um, ever started off with attacking anybody's looks. It was always in rebuttal and in response. So, hypocrite, get it together. And Yeah, you know, I'm still waiting for that club. I'm sure that club would be really happy to hear that you're implying something. Hmm. Hmm. You need to be schooled. The gum is like. Anyway. As you can see, I don't have very many stars of my show. And I only do videos when I think it's warranted. To make people laugh. Not a crime. Um, just some happen to give a whole hell of a lot of material. You just can't help it. It's like overflowing, you know? You don't have to bring attention to it. If you don't like it, don't look at it. Simple. But for the rest of you, remember, remember, make sure you do all that you can do in your community and in your, you know, circle to make sure that everybody gets out and votes in these midterms because they are more important than ever. N not voting is voting Democrat. If you support our president, vote red. We need a red tsunami without a single doubt. We need it. Absolutely need it. 
So please, do whatever you can. Even if you, I mean, if you have the time and the, the means, even offer people rides if you have to, okay? But rally and, and make sure that everybody knows that if they're not registered, I think it's October 9th, they have to be registered by October 9th. Um, and um, if you can, maybe share the lo your local community, um, you know, hours of the polls, et cetera, et cetera, uh, for rides. Uh, let me see what else. I made signs and went out to remind people um, you know, to, if they were registered to vote or not, so they can be like, oh, yeah, I got to get out there and register. Um, just do whatever you can, because it's so important. We got to keep on keeping on. Don't get complacent and think that we got this just because of the way that things are going, because the media wants to mislead you in more aspects than you even think. Like, they, they do little political ploys to like try to make you feel defeated and so on and so forth, which we all know, they're, most of those polls and all that crap are lies. So I don't know where they get the numbers. Dead people, possibly. Hmm. Illegals, possibly. Both, probably. But anyway, let's do that, okay? All righty. All right, all right, all right. Have a good night.